Extended BM. Well, I know Commanding Shout works very well with Pyro. Well then, go play Novel's List. That's all I have to say about that. There's very... If that's that's the only reason you think is there's a difference in our list, then just stick to Neville's list. There's very many... Like, how do you fit in Commanding Shout in this list? Like, they aim to do very different things. Okay, I understand Commanding Shout, you get some pretty insane board clears, sure. But we have to fit in other cards, which I think are more substantial than that. Lock is salty. <laughs> are you enjoying answering that question over and over? No, I just mean, just test it out yourself. If you want to play Commanding Shout, just do it. I'm not, I'm not going to stop you from playing that, but I'm not going to play it myself. That card has existed for a long time, and even during the even during the reign of Patron era, where a lot of people were playing Patron, Commanding Shout was a gimmicky card. Like, people weren't playing that card. There's probably a reason for that. I don't- I'm not gonna waste the weapon charge here. I think if he had ooze, he would play ooze, so I'm gonna assume he doesn't have ooze. This deck is bad against Freeze Mage or Reno decks. No, since since I put in the Armor Smiths now, it's fine against Freeze Mage. There's no there's no issue. Do you play on EU? Yeah, I'll do EU next. We're doing we just got Legend of Asia. We're doing NA now, and then we'll do EU after. Although I was planning to do EU first, because NA is the hardest one. Confirmed by luck. NA greater than EU boys. What do you mulligan from aside from Warax? Check out the guide on Hearthbone. So it's uh, some kind of dance game, Nizoth, Nizoth list. So I want to cash in value from the Acolytes before he plays Kodo. Turn 5 is probably Kodo, so we'll do this. Rap name is not bad either. I we do Ravaging instead. Because like, one one thing I was thinking about is I Icker this and then trade it in and then Axe. Then the Icker thing just dies to Kodo. So let's do this. This is not weak to Kodo. And then we cash this in against Kodo. And then we hit with the weapon charge that also plays around Harrison. Cool. So we play around everything. Every 5 drop. Is there a 5 drop we're not playing around? can't say those things? Like, what can't I say? Oh, like NA greater than EU? Is EU rank 1 as well? Yeah, EU is rank 1 as well. That's what I've been doing this season. I just do, I just hop around to different servers. If I get uh, rank 3 on one server, then I'll get rank 3 on another server, and until all, everything's at rank 3, and then I'll move on to rank 2. That way I, I finish my daily quests and stuff too, on each server. Okay, so we have some card drop potential now with Pyro, Battle Rage, Armor Smith, Icker. That's turn 7 play. So I think I just save it. It's also a board clear. It's, uh, it's basically a consecration to the board. Not really a consecration, but... Oh my gosh, Greeny Grand Viper come with a huge host too. Thanks so much Greeny. Hug life. Welcome to all the hug lives. How was your stream Greeny? Okay, so we could do um, slam. I don't know if I really want to drop the pyro yet, or I could just hit. I guess I don't even have to use a card. We have the we have the wargan charge ready, good to go. 
Why is everyone playing this Murloc Pally, by the way? <laughs> we just faced this one on Asia, too. Um, yeah, okay, let's just do this. Holy cow, so much hug life. Yeah, you guys should all be following Rini if you haven't done so already. Go check her out. I got stuck laddering, but I had a great day. That's good. That's what matters, right? Just having a good time. Okay, so we can do Armor Smith, Pyro, Slam, Battle Rage. Draw three cards. Although I think I overdraw. Feels bad. What's the other option? The other option is if I drop the Armor Smiths. That either. Armor Smiths are really cheap for triggering the Battle Rage. Let's try something like this. What's going on? Fuck Jam Brini? Coming with a sub as well as a host? Aww. Thanks so much. Welcome back to the Loch Ness Monsters. I don't catch your streamer enough. I've been missing bunches. Yeah, I I mean I stream at a late time, so it's not always the easiest to catch. I think I'm actually okay just drawing three cards. I overdraw one card, but I already have all the pretty much all the critical cards. I have the Morgan charge. So might as well just yeah, we'll overdraw one. What card do we overdraw? Lock agents. Patron, that's fine. Who cares? Who cares about patrons? Okay, so we do Icker, Patron, Whirlwind, Battle Rage. Or, or we could just do Patron, Icker, the Patron, and Battle Rage. Whirlwind, Battle Rage. That seems fine. Actually, I think I overdraw one card again, right? I draw, f draw four? Yeah, I draw four cards. I overdraw again. Whatever. We're pretty YOLO. We got we got another Enrage, so that's good. So we already have um, 26 in hand. We have a full board. So I was going to clear it. He needs to do Equality Consecration. Or second true silver. You can hit here, second true silver, and just consecration. He doesn't have to equality. And I need to equip the axe. What's the max damage this deck can do? 60. We can do 60 damage. On an empty board. That's interesting. Not really a full clear. And he's dead. Even he has true silver. Did I save him? So we're gonna execute. Hit. I think we're still a little bit off lethal. Execute. Because with eight, with eight mana, you can do. I can do twenty-two, which is the organ itself. But then I don't have enough mana to equip. Yeah, I think we're gonna have to do, just set up lethal for next turn. I'm just trying to set this up too, because he, he has Nazoth in his hand, probably. So, if he wants to play Nazoth, he's not going to be able to clear the board. He gets he gets a Tyrion back, which is annoying. He gets Tyrion and a 2-3 Taunt back. And he hits this, and he's at 21. 
we should be able to, with the combination of this and the double execute, be able to punch through this uh, 22 damage. Like, I might not be able to use the Taskmaster, because I might have to use the mana to do the executes instead. But then we still have 22. Why only one Icker? Uh, just, just in terms of room. I don't have room for everything. Is it max damage 52? No, no, no. Worgen can do 30 damage on its own. Did you... And by the way, sorry, I'm... If you guys have questions for me, please tag my name in it. Did you ever try to compare your win rate over different ranks? No, I, I've never done that. Hopefully people are like, what? What the heck, this work and end patron? What a what's going on? I thought this list only runs a war game. It's not OTK. And then they're gonna look up the list and they're like, wow, this list was actually a thing four months ago. I just never knew. Do you recommend this deck to climb from rank five to legend? Alright. How am I supposed to answer that question when I'm showing you that I'm hitting legend on three different servers, or I'm going to hit legend on three different servers? with this deck. Like, why can't you hit rank 5 to legend with the same deck? What is this dumpster deck? <laughs> yeah, one Morgan can do 26, but if he faces... One Morgan can do 30, I just haven't had the full inner rage, inner rage, taskmaster combo. You can do 30 with one Morgan. In my new beer. Oh no, no worries. I'm just saying, in general, when I get those kind of questions, I just don't really understand what they mean. Because it's like, well, if it ranks at, if it works at rank one to hit legend, why wouldn't it work at rank five? That's just my my thoughts. I just don't understand the question. How does this deck can be play after zoo? It's really good against zoo. Is this the same guy? No, different guy. Why is everyone playing paladin? This is kind of important against uh, Murloc Pally, but it takes a while to set up a good battle rage anyway, so we're probably fine just getting that later. This is good in case it's the um, Secret Pally. Only a robot like Lock Shadow knows how to use the deck. <laughs> Do you recommend I use this deck to get from rank 25 to 20? Okay, now everyone's just trolling me. Why one turn kill when you can zero turn kill and concede before the game starts? And yeah. What rank are you on EU? I'm rank 1 on EU. Non-legend. What's the current song name? I have no idea, it's just a playlist from Two Steps From Hell. Because Paladin is Master Race. It's Muster Race. It's Muster for Battle Race. What's stronger? Axe this? Or drop the armor Smith? I think it's axing this is stronger. So it prevents the Divine Shield buff. From, what's that weapon called? Rallying Blade? And then we can couple a really good Pyro, Patron, Armor Smith because we have the we have the Impurer in hand. I can't seem to get Legend with this deck. Does it mean I'm a pleb or does that mean you're a god? Yeah, that's a hard one to answer. Do I want to insult you or do I want to like sound really arrogant? <laughs> there's no good there's no good way to answer that question. Look at that. We played around Rallying Blade. Howling Blade. I see. How do you compare this deck to the original OTK from like a month ago? Why do you say that's my original? This this list is actually much older than that free to play. Free to play I only did recently. So that is not uh, that's not the original list. I'm not. I'm gonna actively choose not to play around Quartermaster. I haven't seen it for a while. I think it's fallen out of favor. So rip Quartermaster. Oh, this dragon. That's that's cool. Yes. So dragon, huh? 
What kind of cards do Dragon play? Probably still runs double equality combo, which sucks. I was kind of hoping it was just aggro pally, and then I could just go all out on patrons. Because I have, I don't have Acolyte, I don't have Battle Rages, so it's really risky just making patrons. Look out for turn 7 Ysera. Uh, we have an Execute for Ysera, so that's not too bad. Yeah, Lakshy Adam, my girlfriend says she wants to leave me for the creator of this deck. Do you know where I can find contact novels? Dan's game. <laughs> <laughs> Your most recent deck list don't include Armorsmith. Yeah, this is um, this is a change I made recently. This is wild, poor master. I know, I was just joking. Just joking, you guys. I know there's no more. Okay, so two raw ones would take care of these guys. And then we're definitely getting rid of this. I guess we could execute this, but then we'll have execute for the Ysera. Although we do have a full board of patrons to deal with Ysera. That's probably good enough. So then do I use Icker? Or Inner Rage? Um, I guess the thing is if I don't want to use the... Uh, I don't have to drop Armor Smith necessarily. But I'm running out of time, so I'm just gonna go with this play initially. We're gonna use Inner Rage instead of Icker, because otherwise I think my board gets too full. If I was playing Control Warrior and I Shield Slams, this would matter which order. Like, usually you want to stack up armor and not, uh, not health. But since we don't run Shield Slam. Yeah, this is not that strong. Consecration, you just have to hit here, Consecrate. Alright. Epic music is an accurate representation of the number of viewers here. Yeah. This is a lot of viewers. I haven't had this many viewers for a while. <laughs> I mean, like, unless we get a gigantic... Uh, just sand host or something like that. Okay, so that's good. We still have something that can generate patrons. We've got Ravaging Ghoul. That's nice. So he doesn't have equality... Or he doesn't have Consecration in his hand. He may have equality. We don't know. Mm. So I guess this is happening. I still have one patron left, and if we pick up a world one, we have a way to refill, refill the board. It just, yeah, I bet he does still have equality consecration. It's just whether or not he draws it yet. He has a, he used the, he used up that uh, dragon consort reduction by playing the Twilight Guardian, so he can't do the whole turn seven Ysera anymore. It's better stack up armor in case of Alexstrasza. Oh, I didn't even think about Alexstrasza. Hmm. Interesting. Okay, so we slam first. Battle Rage would be nice, but I'll take this. I think I'd rather hang on to weapon. I don't value these guys so so much. I guess it gets clear. It gets get cleared off by consecration easily. So let's just do this. And now it's a little bit less weak to Consecration because of the um, Acolyte. Is the game lost? I'm not sure if it's necessarily lost. 
He just need if he can clear the board, it's not lost for him. Although we do get two cards, because you get a card from this, a card from the card draw. So we could make another wave of patrons now that we know it's so hard for him to even deal with the first wave. So yeah. I think we're in a good position. Alex Straza. Ali, you're still here? I thought you were Oh. That's a cute board clear. Alright. Do you think he has a dragon in hand? But I want card I want extra cards from this. So I'd probably still drop the Rav Jingle anyways. You think he would have thought so long? If this wasn't activated, this would be a super easy drop. Unless he's just trying to bait me, like mind game me into. Okay, well, trade this in, Ravaging Ghoul, trade the Acolyte in, and then, yeah, hope for, hope for the best, I guess. Or maybe that's why he's saving the, um, the Drake. What do you guys think? Is this gonna explode or not? Don't explode! Oh, we got it. We got it, he doesn't have it. Alright, good to go. How long have you been playing Hearthstone? Probably about two years now. <laughs> Rip. <laughs> Play working combo, didn't realize I didn't have charge again. I still somehow won. You just forgot to put charge in? I definitely play where I forgot to put... I forgot to put in... Um, organ. And <laughs> I was playing against... Okay, I've definitely done that. I've forgotten to put in Morgan, and I've also done a case where I forgot to put in Rampage for some reason. And I was playing against Priest, where actually that's that actually matters having Rampage. And I drew my whole deck, and I'm like, what the heck? Did I did I use Rampage earlier on something? Didn't understand. Justice demands retribution. He put in War Song Commander. I uh, forgot to put Cthulhu in Cthulhu deck. That feels bad. There was that Shaman deck though, it's like a Evolve. It's like a Evolve Shaman deck that doesn't run Cthulhu. It has all the Cthulhu buff cards, doesn't run Cthulhu. And that was pretty dumb. Because... Unless Cthulhu is like a Nazdormu or something, like a really bad card. It's actually a really good card. Put it in. It's one card. You can make room for it. How does Rampage matter against Priests? Because I was playing a version that doesn't run Faceless, so I need to have Rampage to do 30. If you don't put Rampage, then you can't do it. Once I forgot to put in Patron in Patron Warrior, still won a couple of games in a row. I guess you have Frothing still as your win condition. So, I guess this still works. And, and you still have Grom, and I assume. It depends on what area you're playing. Dr. Boom, probably. Hey, Ben.